Hey, my mentor, Mike Austin, always believed that the basis of a great golf swing is a good throw of the club head around the circle. Well, the proper circle would be what we would call on plane. And I think a big part of this release or this throw action is the action of the right arm in the golf swing. Now you can fix a whole ton of different errors going on in your golf swing by basing your swing around a good right hand throw motion. So right after this, let's go into the details a little bit more and we'll talk about all the different things that you can cure just by working on this. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. I continue on my journey to hit the ball longer and straighter than I ever have before, and I hope to help you too. All right, so Mike Austin was a big guy, hit the ball incredibly long and straight, and he had a lot of innate knowledge on how he was doing it. He was kind of blessed with a good golf swing, but he really understood everything about his own golf swing and about what great golf swings are made of. He talks about the throw of the club a lot, and we talk about it on this channel a lot. But the right arm, he said, is supposed to throw what he would say sidearm or underarm, which you might also consider like a rock skip, something like this. And now, if you can base that one motion, you can just practice that rock skip action and get your swing and your throw closer to that. It's amazing how long and straight you can hit the ball. The swing becomes almost turbocharged and the ball just seems to hold its line very beautifully. In other words, you can control the club face much better this way too if you are doing the rock skip correctly around the correct circle. Now, I think step one would be that you get the ball out of the equation, you even get the club out of the equation. Just go back to your time as a kid. You might have had a pond or a lake to skip stones on. And just do kind of some slow-mo rock skip actions just to feel what that right arm is doing. So, something like that. If you cannot rock skip straight up the target line, it's also very telling. Probably means your body has been in doing the wrong actions or has been in the wrong position all this time. So again, we'll rock skip. And those are all nicely on line. Now, the second step I would do, right after you learn how to rock skip on line every time, is you'll pick up a club and you can choke down all the way to the shaft and do this very slowly but mimic the rock skipping action you just did. Just like this. Now of course the correct circle will work from the inside and back around to the inside again. That's what your hands should be doing. And that puts the rock skip on the perfect circle in order to hit the ball straight, just like you were throwing it straight. Now what you might feel here is the elbow kind of leading. It'll almost make you drop so you can release it this way. Because remember, you got to get that stone traveling almost horizontal if you're going to make it skim across the lake. So you really got to get your release point kind of down closer to your knees. And what this does is really forces you to stick your rump out as you go into this move so you can get the release point down there. So you notice in those 
examples how much forward bow I've got here coming in and how much rotation I've got too. So this right arm, in order to free it up, correctly throw it around to the left, almost like you're gonna throw it under your armpit this way with the elbow leading like in a rock skip. It really starts to teach you how to set the body correctly and rotate the chest correctly. Otherwise, you can try to jam the elbow in, and this is what a lot of people do when they're trying to get unstuck or shallow the club. You don't realize until you do this rock skip with just a golf ball or something to how much the chest has to rotate in order to free up this arm to swing you start to really get a feel for, again, the actions of the pelvis and the chest, all the big muscles, like Mike Austin said, they simply become positioners in order to support the rock skip action, which is really the basis of this good powerful swing. Then when you're ready, and you've done a bunch of these rock skips, you might try some, maybe with two arms. Again, feel that rock skip action with the left arm almost just going along for the ride. And then kind of slowly you can try to copy that. We've got a nice powerful straight shot, not a ton of effort, not a big backswing, but this rock skipping right arm, especially when it's applied on the right circle, it's amazing how much club head speed you start to generate just from this move alone, this rock skip whipping action of the elbow and the wrist just like you were skipping a stone across the pond. Now, if you need an intermediate step between one and two, that is between the bare hand rock skip and a club, or you don't have a club, you're at home, you can just practice, choke down a little on a alignment stick. I like this because you can also hear the swoosh. So rock skip and swoosh around to the left. Almost like, if you put your arm up like this, you'd want to be able to throw it right under that arm, up under the armpit. And if you were going to let go of this thing, you would spin it almost a perfect horizontal helicopter and send it way off to the left. So you could actually do this out in the park, take some alignment sticks and just practice chucking them. Again, it's, watch how if I want to release it from down here, I got to kind of stick the rump out and increase the hip flexion, which is opposite what a lot of people do. They tend to stand up as the elbow drops behind them and they're not in a coordinated rock skip throwing action from here. You can put your arm up like this and you would just turn and rock skip and let it go by snapping the wrist. So practice this often at home, practice rock skip, just like that, and soon enough you'll be able to apply this to the ball better and better. And you're not going to believe the turbo charge it's going to put into your swing and how beautifully your club shaft is going to shallow as your hand path works around to the left and your body even gets in position just like a top pro on TV like a like say a Tommy Fleetwood or a Victor Hovland guys with just fantastic impact zone swings who are absolutely doing this so what I say is you make this the base of your swing this is throwing action 
and then let the body get into position automatically based on this arm rock skipping action that you're performing kind of down by the knees. Well, there's another powerful shot right on line. Just absolutely love this move, and I think you will too. So work on that. Don't hit a golf ball right away with it. It might be disastrous, but skip a few stones. Put the club in the right hand only. Practice the motion. Throw it under your arm like this. And soon enough, you will start transforming your golf swing into something closer to the top swings you see on TV. That's going to be great for your scoring average. Hey, if you have any questions or comments about the, today's tip, by all means, leave them down in the comments. I try to read every one. I'm Steve. Thanks for watching. And as usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.